Hello my lovely crafty friends, it's Pamela. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you today more working with scraps and making little uh, backgrounds or little embellishments with all your tiny pieces. So let, I've been making some envelope flips but um, I used one of my little pieces on my envelope flip and they turn out so cute. So I thought we would make a few today. Here are some finished ones. They're just little bits and pieces put together from your scraps. So let's get going. I have some of these little fabric baskets that I made. I was selling them in my shop for a while. I don't know if there's any left, but I have quite a few of these just sitting around my desk. And when I finish a project or when I'm working on a project and I'm cutting pieces, I just toss them in these baskets so they're handy. And I don't really organize them all that much. These are just bigger ones, uh, bigger pieces, and these are much smaller pieces. So let's get going. Let's just grab some right off the top and see what we've got. I don't want to do this one right now. So all I do is I take my pieces and um, I don't like that one. Um, I don't usually <laughs> I don't usually take a long time to do these. I usually just grab a couple pieces and put them together. And don't ask me why I'm stumbling all over the place right now when. I usually don't, but I just take my little stapler. You can use glue if you want, but this works for me because it's quick. And I just give it a staple and I toss it in my little one that's ready to go. And they're just so fun. And like I said, so quick and easy. And I usually use three pieces of paper just because I like that layered look. And they don't all have to be even or straight. This one's a little big, but I wanna use it, so let's cut it down just a little bit. And get something else here from Edith Holden and you just go to town and they're ready for you to use in your next project sometimes I will take a few minutes and add a, a little bit of an embellishment to them but mostly I just put them on and leave them and I will embellish them when I come back and I'm ready to put them into a journal or on a page or on the front of something and they just turn out so cute. Let's grab a piece of, oh I like that. Let's layer some of these up. They're just so fun don't you think? Do you guys do anything like this? Do you save your little bitty scraps or is it just me? Am I the only crazy one? <laughs> I don't think so. I think there's a lot of us out there that do this kind of stuff, but I just wanted to share with you more ways to use up all these valuable scraps that we have. And make something useful out of them. Yeah, let's use that one. And let's find a little piece in here. What do we have? Little bits. I'll put that cattywampus. So they're just quick and easy as you can see. Nothing special or fancy about it. So 
I hope this is useful to you guys, guys and gals. They're just fun and so easy. Let's get this little piece, little piece of this. That stuff sticking to me. Anyway, in no time flat, you'll have a whole slew of them and you're using up your little bitties, your little scrappies. Oh, let's use this one. I wasn't going to, but I may have to cut that down because it's just a little bit too big and too bold for me. I love it, but if I can kind of soften it a little bit. And let's find something to put on top. What do we have? What about that? Well, that's good. Anyway, as you can see, I just get a bunch really quick. And then, like I showed you before, you can just decorate them, put them down on something, use them as a background. You can make them in bigger pieces if you want to too, but I just find that these are really handy because I have so many little bits and pieces left over and they just come out so cute. So anyway, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next Scrappy video. Bye-bye.